Hi everyone, this is our work on towards device efficient conditional image generation. My name is Nisarg and is done with Dr. Gaurav at AI Foundation. The problem with pruning CNN is that we have to optimally find channels or layers in the network when removed will have minimum impact on network performance but significantly improves inference time and memory consumption. For example, Given an encoder-decoder-like model unit, we have to find channels and remove weights along with its incoming and outgoing connections, making sure that performance remains nearly same. But why is this problem difficult? Shouldn't be as easy as removing last key percent of channels across every layer or training a smaller model from scratch? or training classification-based pruning method for conditional image generation tasks? Turns out it's not that simple. The first plot shows the weight distribution of channels for each layer for unit trained using L1 loss and perceptual loss. Taking a detailed look for a particular layer 4, we found that most of the channels, when sorted as per their weights, have near similar magnitudes. It was observed that even pruning only less magnitude weights have significant impact on overall accuracy of the model. To address the weight distribution problem, we propose a penalization method which takes into absolute weights of individual channels, using it for training along with other standard loss functions as described above, the weight distribution of unit model can be seen in the plot C and more zoomed version for a particular layer in D. We can observe sharp change in channel magnitudes at a specific point which we term as a hinge. We want to optimize for the inference time for a particular device. Uh, we need to optimize the neural nets in a linear time for a given compute device without sacrificing image quality and inference time. And as models optimize for CPUs might not be the best one for CPUs and vice versa, we need to optimize models specifically for a device. We also need to take into account considerable variation of importance of layers in overall accuracy and inference time of the final network. We are trying to answer these questions raised above, especially for conditional image generation. Uh, so, we are discussing compression methods along with pruning. First of all, neural architecture design. Uh, this works exploit costly tensor blocks within architectures and replace them with lightweight ones or perform tensor compute in an efficient manner to improve the performance like using depth-wise separable convolutions. Neural architecture search algorithmically search for efficient architectures. This search is highly nonlinear with high compute and time complexity. Several works search architectures via reinforcement learning and genetic algorithms. Also, a lot of work has been done to make more efficient using distillation and quantization. It is important to note here that our work is tangential to the methods described above and can be combined with them. Though use of classification pruning methods seem to be a logical first choice for pruning in conditional image generation tasks as well, several state-of-the-art methods note otherwise. For example, U et al. conduct extensive experiments using standard pruning methods like manual pruning and AGP, which is gradual pruning, for GAN-based tasks such as phase generation. They note that image generated from manual pruning is of very poor quality, whereas the models didn't even converge using AGP. Similarly, Wong et al. and Lee et al. Uh, also pointed out the instability in GAN min-max training. So how, how do we address it? Regularization. So we propose channel weight regularization method so in this, for a particular layer, a per channel importance factor equivalent to magnitude of the weights of the corresponding channel is introduced. We train the network weights and optimize the importance factor to condense the weights as, as to make sure that as few channels as possible. 
we have to select three different channel regularization methods that is linear, uniform, and exponential to explore and verify the effects of relative penalization uh, such that faster increase in penalization as number of channels increase for a layer and it affects on compression and quality. Other part which we introduce is layer, layer device weight regularization. Uh, so, as you all know, GPU devices exploit tensor compute parallelism in a convolutional layer and simultaneously process large number of weight channels, whereas CPU devices carry out the operation sequentially and don't benefit from similar parallelism. Depending on the device architecture and their memory allocation, relative convolution operations speed across different spatial resolutions and feature map sizes differ considerably. For model deployment, the compute devices are generally fixed. Thus, we propose a runtime layer level device dependent channel regularization strategy. We calculate the runtime for each layer across a particular device and use it as a multiplicative factor for that particular layer to calculate the final total penalization as described in LPNL. For device agnostic uh, pruning, we calculate the number of MSC operations which remain constant across uh, devices for a particular layer. The penalization, mean max optimization for GAN and ob final objective function is described. To explain our model in more detail, uh, our method DESIC dynamically condenses channel filter and prunes GAN-based autoencoders for image generation. Below diagram shows a unit architecture where the numbers 256, 128, 64 and so on indicates the number of channels for that particular layer. During stage 1, a vanilla unit autoencoder is trained with penalization where weight distribution uh, has a several resulting zero value channels that can be pruned. We locate the hinge manually for each layer and then remove the channels with weight magnitudes below hinge magnitude. Black region corresponds to the almost deactivated or nearly zero kernels, which are then pruned. During stage two, the network is pruned using hinge locations for each layer and later prune and later prune network is fine tuned in a student teacher manner using the condensed model from stage one thus obtaining a final optimized model. For our approach, we don't require extra pre-trained model for the task as well as generating optimized prune network nearly takes same time as standard training uh, because we don't have to do any extra grid search or something. In this task, we are generating face images from a given segmentation map. Below figure shows the results of variants on unit architecture. Although compared with unit 64, miniature unit variants unit 16 and unit 32 have fewer parameters, the generated images have several artifacts like blurry repeated patches. Images generated by our condensed generator looks much sharper, more realistic with low inference times. Our method as distribute weights in each layer such that not only was it able to achieve better FIDs compared with corresponding vanilla models, but also hinge-based pruning had a minimal effect on FID scores. The resulting model has improved FIDs by 17% and runtime improvements of 3.5 times on CPU and 1.63 times on GPU. Agondo et al uses model distillation to train a slim student generator from the corresponding bigger teacher network. We observe slight FID improvement from vanilla unit 32 model. However, generated images looks blurry. We also implement Wong et al for vanilla unit 64 and obtain improved results in the terms of perceptual quality as well as parameter reductions and memory uses. However, images generated from Wong et al. have several artifacts such as random color patterns, illuminations, and thus quality of generated images have much more artifacts than our models. Also, FID scores of our model are slightly better, and the low reg version gives a better FIDs compared to all other models. 
From quantitative results, it is observed that inference time for a model optimized for a particular device shows improvement compared to model optimized using general approach. For example, model optimized specifically for CPU have faster inference time on CPU compared to the model optimized for GPU, whereas the model optimized for CPU has a higher runtime on GPU compared to a model optimized specifically for a GPU. Experiments are conducted on image cartoonization on two different channel weight regularization approaches that is uniform and linear. We also show results after only stage one training to quantify student teachers effect on our approach. Exploring improved student teacher methods for training is orthogonal to our work and could be leveraged for any additional improvements. For the cartoonization task, as fine scale features are less critical, uniform channel regularization performs better compared to its linear version. To verify the generalizability of our algorithm, we go beyond units and apply DASIC on unpaired image to image translation and use ResNet as our generator, which is far more complex than a unit due to its cross connections and compare it with recent state of the art methods like Gansleaming. We use Gigaflops, model size, and FIDs as a on horse to zebra task, as shown in the figure. DESIC ResNet achieves 5.9x reduction in model size compared to the baselines and 30% improvement over the FID scores. Our method achieves significant improvement of 28% FID improvement compared to Wong et al., along with improved results over compression matrices. That's all I have. Thank you for your attention. Please check out our paper. And if you want to know more, would be great to see you at the virtual poster session. Thanks.